Hi family, I hope you're good. I hope you're feeling blessed. It's your sister Poshia Mohau again. Uh, today I don't want to say much, but first let me thank you for being part of the family. Uh, thank you for your subscription. Thank you for your likes, your comments, and your prayers and love. Family, if you like our channel, if you like our videos, please hit the like button here <laughs> thank you so much today i am reminded and challenged by the word of god uh kindly go with me through the book of psalms chapter 2 here reads the word of god so that we would understand why they are unlawful not in fact not unlawful there are certain constitutions in certain countries that are going against believers why certain the immorality that is happening in certain places are going higher and higher and higher uh one of the things i like saying is that nothing is new under the sun scripture has already revealed everything that is happening now, here is the word of God in the book of Psalms, chapter 2. The Bible reads, Why do the nations rage and the people plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. Now, family, why do nations rage? And people plot in vain. The kings of the earth set, set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. Look at what is happening in the world. You don't even need a, a, a pastor to show you what's happening. You don't need a, a prophet to come and say, look what is happening. Scripture prophesied. The laws, things that are being legalized are abominable before the sight of God. All that you see that is happening in agreement. You know, nations agree to things that are immoral. Why is it that? Here is scripture telling us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, as for me, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the decree. The Lord said to me, you are my son. You may be of higher place, higher rank on earth. You may be the lawmakers, but you can never take the place of the eternal king of glory. Laws that you know that are diabolic. Laws that we see as humans that know this is not right. Maybe we may not have a say. But God looks down and he laughs. Because he has a king that he has set up for himself. They say let us burst their, their bonds apart and cast away their cause from us. They don't want to be part of us. They are not part of us. They are trying to bring, look at what is happening. So many rules that are now being set out even for the church. The church whose head is Christ. There are certain limitations that are unfolding to what uh, believers should say and what not to say. Now, the Bible says, the Lord in verse 7 says, I will decree of, I, I will tell of the decree. The Lord said to me, you are my son. And we all know that he said that. This is my son in whom I'm well pleased. 
The Bible says, today I have begotten you. Ask of me, I will make the nations your heritage. All authority in heaven, on earth, and beneath has been given unto him. The Bible says, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Now the Bible says, and the ends of the earth, your possession. And what did he say to us? The master, the king of glory. He said, go and make disciples. I will not leave you. I will be with you till the end. And he is the same present master that we don't even have to look far for. He is with us. He has authority. The Bible says, you shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now, therefore, O kings, be wise. Be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. For his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Blessed are those who take refuge in him. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run to it. There is no master that is above him. There is no ruler that is above him. All of, He has authority over all rulers. He has authority over all kings. The world is the way it is today because you know, the rejected stone has become the cornerstone. He, 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 is, he is the king that people don't want to submit to. But he is a king that does not impose himself on anybody. Nations can do whatever they want. Nations can plan whatever they want. He remains standing. My, heaven and earth shall pass away. But his word will remain standing. He is the king that rules from beginning to end. He is the king that rules and no, no constitution, no man, man drawn up laws, nothing can stand against the king of kings, the alpha and the omega and the beginning and the end, the ruler of life itself. Why? Because he is the way, the truth, and life. Nobody comes to the Father except through him. All you have to do is, Lord Jesus, I accept that I'm a sinner. You went up to the cross and took upon yourself our sins and the wrath of God. I invite you to come into my life. And rule my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior. And lead me through your Holy Spirit. In Jesus name. That's all. You have to repent. You have to, to understand that on your own. You can never be right with God. Nations are planning. Policies are made. That are diabolical that are immoral. But the Lord looks, if my people who are called by money shall repent, God in heaven will hear our prayers. May the grace and peace of God be with you. May God's word continue to grow in our hearts. May we hunger for nothing else but him. In all that we do, may we give God his glory. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed.